everybody so this is uh zammy and this is going to be an emo furry tutorial um i know a lot of people have been asking this because i've been making emo furries lately so i'll try my best to do you guys right and tell you guys what to do so first of all i'm going to open up an emo furry that i had made previous today and which is what this <laughs> and i'm going to basically draw over that as a guide not really tracing but like uh emo furry is tricky in a way that you need to uh put everything in its in like lines it's weird you have to there's boxes you'll you'll see later on in the video what i'm talking about but you have to like make sure that everything is um positioned in that box or else it won't work and you'll get an error um, so I'm doing amethyst because I want to make like all of the gems because that's the thing I just want to do right now, I guess. <laughs> so, um, so this is, that's what, that's gonna happen. <laughs> so, um, right now, what you should know right now is that, uh, the, the eyeliner or the eye outline, the whites of the eyes and the pupils all have to be on a different layer. That is very important. And you'll see later on once we get into the Photoshop part um, that that's like then you'll understand why you have to do that. Um, so emo furry in general, uh, things you should know. Um, it's kind of tricky. To, I'll put the link out down below in the description how to get it. Um, you can download it on your computer, but when you download it, you have to put your um settings in your on your computer to japanese and it's kind of tricky you go into the control panel um do go to the clock section go as administration you have to go as in, you have to change it in administration mode um or else it won't work um and then that requires you to restart your computer i'll put a link another link in the description of a tutorial on how to on explaining that how to download it further it's kind of tricky because it's a japanese program um, it's just, it's not really used to run on English, um, computers, I guess? I don't know. Um, but you see, like, you can't get it to work unless you, you just change your settings. It's not a big deal. Uh, so yeah. And basically, w you have to keep in mind that once, you know, you're drawing right now, um, they draw your draw is going to drastically change because you have to you have to uh, scale everything to fit in the boxes and stuff so your drawing will look a lot different uh once it's put into the um once it's put into the boxes and the layers and stuff like that into the code i'll put another link in the description of the box like the box code for emo furry it it's really tricky but uh, once you get the hang of this program it's really okay um it's a lot of fun um, yeah, so I guess that's that as far as explaining what to do, how to download it, and everything like that. Um, basically when you're drawing, you just, when you're drawing out the steps and stuff, basically you just have to draw, uh, all the, th all the things that it's required of you through the boxes. Um, like, it wants you to draw the nose, and it wants you to draw the eyelids, so it can, so it can, uh, um, animate it blinking. And if you don't want to do that you can actually um you can actually just leave it blank like there is a there's a section if you if you want uh the, if you're drawing a girl or if you're drawing anyone in general uh, that has bouncy boobs you can give them <laughs> bouncy boobs but if you don't want them to have bouncy boobs you can just leave that layer blank which is what i do most of the time um, especially for the gems, because that's, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess we'll just skip right ahead along and um, just enjoy this drawing out the drawing out amethyst for the time being.
Okay, now that we have everything done, we can save it as a new file so that we can find it later on and open it up in Photoshop. This is probably uh, more of the, this is more of the trickier part is uh, opening up a opening it up and putting it into the boxes. Like I said, this is a previous Emo Free I had made a long time ago, Princess Bubblegum, and as you can see here, the boxes. Uh, let me explain the circles that you see on the screen, which would be the blue circle would be the middle of the face, the red circle is the bottom of the chin, and the green circle is the middle of the body. Those are important because it lets the Emo Furry program know uh, where everything is and what to move and everything like that. If your items are not inside these bo the red boxes that were present, uh, they you will get an error code. Er sorry, er error code. Sorry, <laughs> um, and it will tell you that it's not going to do it, or it will just actually cut off part of the. Like, if your mouth is outside the boxes, it will just cut off part of the mouth and, it, yeah, or part of the hair. So you have to really make sure that everything is inside the box. And also, like, your drawing's gonna look a lot different because you have to you have to scale everything and proportion it into the boxes. If, I rem if my memory serves, you can actually um, make the boxes bigger to accommodate your size of the character you're doing. Um, like if you have a character with really huge lips and the box is way too small to carry those lips, I'm pretty sure you can uh, make the boxes bigger um, to accommodate that. And I think that's what you'll see later on with Amethyst. There's also something you can do where you can add, you can add more pieces of um, accessories like hair and like bows and stuff and hats and different parts of clothing. Um, that bounce independently if you want that to happen, which is what I'm doing with Amethyst Bangs and that little strip of hair that I added on just now. Um, you can, I'll put the link, there's a link in the description of how to add, um, of the code you need to add um, to the Emo Furry program boxes that to this Photoshop program that we're doing. Um, there's a link in the description for that, and we'll step you, th we'll walk you through that too, and I'll I'll help walk you through it when we get into the, the Emo Furry program itself. Um, what's really, really, really important that I cannot stress enough is that you have to absolutely name the five, name the layer that you're working on. The I so the sorry, <laughs> let me start over. The um in the template file. Each layer, like the eye layer, will be labeled eyes, but in Japanese. So there'll be a Japanese characters for eyes, or anything else, just Japanese characters for that layer. You must copy and paste that what that layer says into the new layer, which would be the eyes of your character that you drew. Or else it's just not going to do it. The, what you name... What the names of the lay Japanese characters of a layer is what is what the program Emofur is going to read as the eyes. So you need to name everything um, according to that, or else you will get an error, and it will be really frustrating. Trust me, because I've done this um, like a million times when I was first getting used to the program, and it's just it's hell. <laughs> so to save you guys a little bit of time, that's what you have to do with that. Um, and this program is hard to work with when you first get used to it, like I said before, but once you, once you know, once you get used to it, once you, you know, fiddle around with it a lot, it's basically just a walk in the park. And so, yeah, so basically this is just me resizing boxes and making sure everything's in place and making sure everything's in order. And uh, if you're... Uh, Emo Furry comes out perfect and the first time, you know, you put it into the program and it comes out perfect, then good for you, but most of the time it's not going to. Most of the time you're going to get a hair that's cut off because it's not in the box correctly, or something that moves and then you don't really like the way it looks, and that's fine. This program is basically just you going back and forth fiddling with stuff. Um, it takes a lot of time to get everything the exactly the way you want it to. Um, it's it's tricky it is really tricky um and with that i actually think that it's done here that i'm done yes we can save it and move on to actually opening up an emo furry which is here what you want to do is click on the first thing which is file and and then you go down to 
um, and it, you see so you go down two layers and it will bring you up to another menu which you click on and it, you can click on any of the ones which is just the base and you can make those move and stuff um, and then go down to the PSD files open up your PSD file and open it up as you can see I opened up the amethyst but I didn't really like the way the bangs looked so I'm going to have to um, take off part of the bangs and make that into a separate layer of extra and then have the other part of the banks be the bangs, the bangs layer, which I will name bangs layer in the Japanese characters. And like I said, this program is just a lot of fiddle, and you just, you just. Um, fiddle until you think everything looks right, um, then open it back up and emo furry. You have to do this every time. Um, just keep opening it up, closing it open up. And if memory serves, see the, the blue boxes at the very end? You have to, what you have to do is you have to click on the back, it's the top button, it's the longest button, it says BG on it. You click on that and it brings you to different layers. See, at this moment of time I actually forgot about that but I'll remember later on. You, it actually takes you um, into a menu and it basically it's telling you what you want that individual added on um, accessory to do. You can have it move with the body, move by itself, or move with the head. Um, I having, I'm having hair accessories so I want it to move with the head. So I would click move with the head which is right now, see it's the second one is move with the head. And then the second one is, um, and then you and then bring it to another menu, which is you can move it independently with the head, or you can move it, make it sway back and forth, you can make it sway left. Uh, the link in the description explains it a little bit more, and it gives you a little bit more options. Um, just read through that, and it will help you a lot, trust me. <laughs> I am reading through it to just freshen up, because I haven't actually um, done any actual like tutorial stuff in a long time so I didn't know how to explain that to you but anyway this is uh, my amethyst this is probably the best I'm going to get it um, right now um, but thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section below and I can see if I can get back to you um, I actually kind of like the way this turned out to be um, it could be better but you know this program is a lot of just you know fiddling around and seeing how things work and how things um, come out you know drawing wise and stuff like that it's a lot of playing around um, yeah so and in the side you get a whole bunch of range of motions you can make her do and you can have um, film make gifts of those with um, gif like a gif program um, and yeah, so you have a bunch of movie clips and the program just make it, um, make that do, make those actions do that. And it's a lot of fun and easy to do if you, if you, um, have time to fiddle around with the program. Like any other program, um, it's easy to figure out once you get the hang of it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below, like I said before, and have a nice day.